It's Dr. Ed Bush with a Tip Tuesday. Everyone loves the live oaks at LSU, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to produce a legacy oak in your own yard. Quercus virginiana is a scientific name for a live oak, and on campus you can see so many beautiful live oaks here. And one of the main things we need to do when we have a live oak is to train it to be a strong, healthy tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a seedling and I'm going to show you how to prune it and then we're going to talk about how to get a big healthy large tree for generations to come. So when you actually start a live oak from a seed or an acorn you actually start pruning for its 700th birthday by pruning as a seedling. So as you can see here we have two main leaders in the container plant and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it to one. If we left that, the tree would actually split eventually and it would actually kill the tree. So training a live oak tree starts from the acorn germination all the way until its 750th birthday. Pruning every three to five years is a really good idea, especially with a grown live oak, to make sure that you get dead wood and broken branches and the interior growth that'll let that air go through it. You won't get as many diseases and you won't have as much problem with storms, dropping limbs and having a lot of damage on your tree. One thing that you need to do when you prune is make sure that the first trunk uh, that comes off the base trunk of the tree starts at about six feet to ten feet tall. Most people don't think it's that high but at LSU you might even find some that are 15 or 20 foot before the first branch comes off. This is to give the tree a little strength and to have clearance because when you have high winds, freezes, ice, the, the limbs will go down and can hit cars and people and so forth so we want to prune them up. Secondly is we can notice here the tree does this for itself. So what we want to do is look here and you can see at the trunk of the tree under these brain branches you can actually see something called compression wood. And what happens is with a lot of wind and different kind of weather the tree actually reinforces its limb to strengthen it to endure a lot of the environmental issues that happen in Louisiana like hurricanes, tornadoes, ice storms. So plant live oak trees for generations to come and you can have a living legacy with a live oak tree in your landscape.